Hey friends, welcome to CIC Pause and Ponder. My name is Xavier. I'm the youth and young adult pastor here at Celebration International Church. Today we'll be pondering and pausing for Psalms 5 verses 1 to 3. And it reads this, Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my sight. Listen to the sound of my cry for help, my King and my God. In the morning, Lord, I will hear, you will hear my voice. In the morning, I will present my prayers to you and be on the watch. What I love about this is that David is focusing on God. Before anything else, what I'm challenged about this passage is that David is running to God first. He's running to Him with, with all, whatever is going on in his life in this moment, the chaos, the craziness, he's going to God first and it's a simple truth that sometimes we forget but it's David's desire to communicate with his father that all of us should have so what I love about this passage is that David says in the morning Lord you will hear my voice then he says in the morning I will be present my prayer it's like that aspect of before anything else before I do anything else I'm gonna look to you and so many times in your life and in my life uh, whether it's a financial issue or just a situation with somebody else, sometimes we run to our banks, our financial guide, our savings, or we run to this person, that person, and sometimes we forget to run to the ultimate one who has all the answers. And that's what challenges me about this passage, that David sought after God in the morning. He said, you will hear my cry, you will focus on me. Um, I will listen to you, I will look to you, and that just is such an challenging because he first sought God's kingdom. He first sought God's answer because he knew that God is the ultimate one that has all the answer, that can provide, that can guide, and his victory is in him. So he didn't only just sought after God and prayed and let his request, but he says at the end of this verse, in verse 3, I'll be on the watch. David was on the watch to listen to God's direction, to listen to His voice. So in your life and in my life, whatever we're going through on today, that I just encourage you, that you just pause and think, seek after God first, but also listen, listen to His guidance, listen to His voice. So I want to ask you, how does this challenge you? Comment, on, comment below, let us know, let us have a communication, and remember, Remember to lean into Him and trust in Him always.